Hey guys, Mark Haynes here. Just want to give you the latest update on Peter Maxed, um sort of search for his holy grail, which is a golf swing that sort of looks and looks good and you know works effectively if you like. So um, this is Pete from sort of his last lesson on the left, and then um, he came back looking a lot better. And Stafford done a little bit of work on during his lesson, but um, so the one in the blue here on the left, Pete had a bit of a tough time just get into graphs with sort of you know one of the bits that we're trying to work on and just find it a little bit tougher last time round. so when he was swinging here we can see that you know he's still kind of moving in the wrong direction with his body level so you know Pete was going down quite a lot with his left side of his body and his left side was collapsing in which was giving him uh, you know his spine leaning too much towards the target so not much rotation quite a bit of sort of slide and tilt so when he'd have to come in he'd be trying to kind of in his own way on the downswing so he's not really in the right hitting position here and then he gets standing up on the way through which is a bit that he always hated you know standing up this way with a big sort of separation in between his arms so Pete came back sort of having having worked on it looking really good really impressed he did a really good job on it and you know the one on the right is kind of where is that now which you, know, you can see how differently he moves with his body and his turn and the, the direction that his body is moving in you know, and these are very, very different at the top of his golf swing here. So, you know, the, the one on the right, he, he couldn't believe how easy it felt to get the club coming down the right direction. You know, and that's all because the body's in the right way. So, you know, worked on how he was moving his body and, you know, how he's getting there with his arms. So, as he comes in here, you know, he's in a really good position now, really early on in his swing. You can see there's a difference in the gap of his right arm here. So, that's closer to his body, which means the club's coming from a better direction. And when he comes through impact here on his new one, he doesn't get this big lifting motion. And on the way through, you know, at the same point in the swing, look at how big a gap he's got on this one in between his arms. And then again, you know, that gap's you know, pretty much gone there. So a big, big difference, and he's done really well. Um, so if we take a look at the back as well, so his old one, or one from a couple of times ago, but you know, Peter tends to always turn or rotate a lot early going with his shoulders. Um, and he gets quite hinged at the top here, you know, and com combine that with the direction that his, his lower half's moving in. You know, so he worked on moving his shoulders less at the, at the beginning, but more in the right direction. And then the club's now starting to look different at the top, and particularly when he comes down, because his body's in a better hitting position, there's going to be a massive difference on the direction of the club coming back into impact. So, you know, this one comes down closer to his right forearm which is you know more where we want it and then this one here is closer to his left his left forearm which is steeper or more over the top or going to give him more sort of pulls and slices um, and you know and you can see how different these look coming back into impact here so and again you can see that standing up kind of motion that were that Pete was getting previously so Pete's done really well with that, and um, you know we're just going to keep keep working through it. So he's he's now starting to feel he's getting a lot lot closer to this sort of holy grail of a of a, a good looking effective golf swing basically. And um, so well done Pete, and keep up the good work. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.